Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Katie Pallage here with your weekly political brief for the week of March 21st, 2010. After nearly a year of heated debate, President Barack Obama signed sweeping health care legislation into law this week after the House of Representatives voted 219 to 212 last weekend to pass approximately 2,300 pages of the reconciliation bill. The bill had been held up by a group of pro-life Democrats who said they would not vote for the bill unless there was language that guaranteed federal taxpayer dollars would not go towards abortions. Representative Bart Stupak from Michigan led that charge last year when he introduced a bipartisan amendment to the bill that would severely restrict federal funding for abortions. But just hours before the vote, President Obama exchanged an executive order barring the use of federal funds for abortion for pro-life Democrat votes giving the President and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi the votes needed for the bill to pass. Now, what does this mean for you? It means you can stay on your parents' health insurance until you're 26 years old. Insurance companies will no longer be able to deny you for a pre-existing condition. The bill will expand coverage to 30 million more Americans, and employers will now have to provide health care to their employees. You will be required by law to buy health insurance if you do not already have a plan, or you will pay a fine to the IRS along with many other major changes to the system. President Obama has said that if you like your health insurance, you will be able to keep it. Now on to how much this is going to cost. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the legislation will cost $940 billion over the next 10 years. As of now, 14 states are planning to sue the federal government over this bill on grounds that it is unconstitutional to, to force people to buy health insurance and that states simply cannot afford the cost of this bill. Arizona is currently not on the official list of states ready to sue, but Governor Janet Brewer has said publicly that she is working on a plan to do so. That's about it for this week's political news. I'm Katie Pavlich.